Tada! The Blocknote headquarters! This is the room where I create everything I do. All my art journals, but also all my e-courses that I make uh, are being made here in this very small room. Hello, I'm Rieke Blokland from blocknote.nl and welcome to Art Journal TV. I make this series to inspire you to create, make art and have fun. So people have been requesting a studio tour and um, my room is really not that big. <laughs> it's hard to show it on uh, camera but um, yeah apparently <laughs> you guys wanted to see where I create everything. So uh, let's start with the, the best part. <laughs> this is the desk where I um, create all my journals my chair and of course I also have this I Ikea trolley with all sorts of acrylic paint in there and um, yeah here is where I store all the uh, acrylic paints in the colors that I use mostly there's a lot of uh, Ara in here a brand that I love uh, but also some of these um, paper artsy paints that I really like to use for my art journals and a few golden bottles and then here I have a lot of tubes of golden Liquitex and Old Holland and some um, watercolor um, stuff or white spirit well all those weird bottles that I sometimes want to use like um, Ocean Gala. I don't have a clue how it is called in English. Anyway, um, yeah, that's in there. And I have a lot of old toothbrushes, and I really love these um, stencil brushes. My Liquitex Freestyle brushes, I have a lot of them. I really love those for gesso. And this is probably one of my favorite art tools at the moment. A Liquitex Freestyle Palette Knife number... Um, can I put it sharp? I'm using a different camera setting than I usually do because I thought this would be automatic. <laughs> but it's not really working. Oh, number 11. Um, On the desk, um, it is not really messy right now. Um, people think that my desk is always a mess, <laughs> but that's not really true. It is a mess a lot of the time when I'm art journaling, but of course there's always a point where you need to clean up again and I love to start with an empty desk. So um, yes, sometimes it's uh, a bit cleaner like this. I have my journals here at my desk. These are the journals that I'm working in. A lot of journals and I used to have even more but at one, one point I had so many journals that I started to, um, to um, put some journals to, together. So I ripped off some pages of journals I didn't really like anymore and then started sticking in pages in uh, in journals that I did like so that uh, I have a little less journals but they're still about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, well nearly 20 journals, 20 journals on my desk yeah, and I see another one over there, so there are uh, about 20 journals that I'm um, currently working in. Which is ridiculous, I know, but I'm just looking really chaotic in my journals. And um, I'm trying to improve that, but <laughs> um, yeah, until now that's not really working. This Oh, this one is pretty full. This is one of the few books I can do... Um, uh, make um, a flip through video um, about in the near future 
Um, yeah, so this is my pretty nice desk. Above my desk is um, well, sort of mood board. Let's put down that lamp. It's not really a mood board, but uh, it's a pin board where I pin images that inspire me with of artists, images of artists that I really like, but also things like Japanese geisha or something that my kid made or uh, pretty artwork that I like, like this one for example by Jean-Michel Basquiat and um, a nice poster. Then here is just a nice shelf with things I love collection of black inks, a collection of neons <laughs> and metallic stuff. Here are just some random lovely items that I really like, like this for example this little uh, devil that I got from my mother and this tin toy that I used for an e-course called Amélie and um, yeah some random fun things that I really really love and um, oh, here are some small journals the journals that I used for my uh, 365 dolls project that is currently on hold because I didn't have um, much time in the summer and I wanted to do, uh, continue but I didn't unfortunately um, in my desk there are also some drawers this is the drawer where I keep all my watercolors. These are um, all sets that I arranged myself. And here are some um, Ecolina brush pens. Um, yeah, a few tubes, refills. This is I got from someone during a workshop. It was really cute. Um, yes. And then this drawer is a drawer where I keep a lot of my stamps and I'm not really using these um, powders, they are um, embossing powders, but <laughs> I do have a lot of them and a lot of colored stamp inks and um, these stamps are actually all, these are my logo stamps, I have quite a, a selection of different sizes with my logo but also some uh, pattern stamps, stamps that I really love for art journaling like dots and numbers and then I have some handcraft stamps here like this rose but I also really really love those uh, let me see small small stamps like this for example with a little star and then the other drawers pretty organized in my drawers actually. Um, sometimes they're a bit more messy like this. I just cleaned up as you can see. But um, I actually like my drawers organized so yeah. Um, loose, a lot of grey markers and a lot a lot a lot of fine liners, scissors, um, sharp stuff and oh, this is something of an old stuffed animal that I had as a kid. Well, um, drawing pens. Hmm. Two uh, labellos. Because <laughs> you can never have enough labellos. Um, this is a drawer where I keep my most used pencil, my most used pencils all sorts of graphite pencils, technical pens, all my white markers, white acrylic markers, colored acrylic markers and these are all refills for technical pencils, pencil sharpeners and erasers and some more colored pencils and a stamp. And, um, and then below my desk is um, <laughs> every all my other art supplies that I don't use that much. I don't want to go through that. There are a lot of tubes and stuff and things also for different techniques like for example for uh, ceramics or for lino cutting and print inks. Then I have this huge... Um, well, it's not huge. 
it's a very small room, so it's not huge. There is a little corner of the stuff that I didn't clean up. This is um, something that needs to go to a dear, to some dear friends. I promised that to give them. Um, this is a huge, huge pile of paper, especially a lot of watercolor paper, because um, this ash paper is the only paper um, I really, really love for watercolors. So when I'm using watercolors, I actually do not work in my journals, but I love these ash papers, so I have a lot of them, really a lot of them. And uh, this is something that I still didn't have a place for, but this is actually a very fun bag. Um, there, it is filled with these small Amsterdam tubes. Really like them. They're so cute for uh, on photos as well. I actually don't really. I use this paint for uh, Art Journal Summer School, but um, I don't really use it normally. But I really love these small tubes for photography, as they come in so many colors and they're just so cute. So yeah, fun bag. A huge pile of colored pencils and this is random stuff, um, letter stickers and office supplies and these are kids drawings that I still need to um, um, go through and select. These, these are books where I keep the drawings of my kids. I love to see their progression so I stick them in the book. Um, um yeah, I do that once every <laughs> two years maybe, so <laughs> that's the reason why this is so full. And I throw away a lot of drawings because my kids draw, are drawing so much, but I, I want to keep some things, so I don't keep everything. Um, yeah, some things that I want to keep. And then here are some drawers with books that really inspire me. This is actually a bit my inspiration corner. There are books about um, things that really I really find inspiring. There's a book about revolution, about philosophy and masks, woodblock prints, that kind of stuff. This is uh, um, some books about street art and urban art. These are some books, art journaling and artists' techniques. Um, Tim Burton, Picasso, Grayson Perry. These are more about children's books and some uh, children's books um, themselves. Um, folk art books, a lot of books about folk art. And then I have a lot of um, containers with all sorts of paint, wash. This is more um, uh, well I haven't really gone through this one yet. The, there are paints here for an e-course that I am currently creating. Um, this is special techniques it says. There's beeswax in it and um, metal leaf and some Paper artsy powders, um, wax for encausting. This is stems, more stems, a lot of acrylic ink, and um, this is printing. So there's printing paint and brayers and jelly plates. Crayons, my uh, Neo Colors, water soluble and waterproof. Some folders <laughs> with stuff, uh, stamps, and my collection of scrapbook papers. I used to do scrapbooking, I stopped that, but I kept this small selection of colored papers, papers and some patterned papers. Oops! That went well. Mm, some postcards, just postcards to send to people when they have a birthday or a wedding or a kid. Stickers, a lot of stickers and some leftover scrapbook 
stuff with more stickers. <laughs> and then I have these uh, two white um, closets. Is that a way to say it? Oh, here are more journals. I think I forgot to mention these because this is a journal for JOT 2018 where I do all the lessons of JOT in and I have a lot of these small sketchbooks that I call my Los of Flodos books, my blanks. I can just take one when I need one and uh, bring it to wherever I'm going and this, these books I actually just use as sketchbooks to for example oh this is a book that I often take to a zoo so there's just animal sketches in this book um, so um, yeah oh here's a little secret hiding place for <laughs> all my um, gesso and um, mediums Copic markers. A huge drawer with so cool. Like, oops. A drawer full with Copic markers. Pens. My zebra pens. I just like to have um, them um, a full ratchet. And um, oh, I can't find the word. I have a couple. Mm, minions! <laughs> These are all dirty. <laughs> I need to clean those. But I use these little bowls to, as mixing trays. And I have a huge selection because I like to have pretty ones for photography. So when I'm making e-courses I want to have nice little uh, cups. So I have a lot of different colors and sizes, but as you can see, I need to clean clean them up. Stamps. Then are stamps. More stamps. More stamps. Oh, more stamps. How surprising. These are all things with alphabets, like a Dymo writer and um, some embossing tools. Tools! Random tools. Um, oh, this is pretty empty. And um, brushes. Lots of brushes and a circle cutter. Here, over here, is my filming table. I have two studio lights that are um, like soft boxes, but then smaller. They are with um, LED lights. They're like LED soft boxes, and this is just a random IKEA uh, lamp. But then with a daylight lamp on it, with a little filter, so that I have some light from above and. I have this one red button here. If I put it on, everything jumps on, so I have them always in the right setting for filming. And I have um, a dry a heat tool ready to dry my work. So I was about to film something. This is the, the lens that I use for filming. It was ready here. And oh, there's another journal. Uh, here I have a selection, of, a collection of uh, backgrounds for filming and a lot of paper. These are all papers from uh, Nepal. I have a huge pile here hidden in this uh, corner here. Then over here, oh, these are more backgrounds that I use for filming. Over here I keep the Etsy journals for sending my Etsy stuff. There are um, packaging materials and then all the journals in different sizes are just crammed over here at my film table because I didn't have any other space for it. Then this one I think is pretty empty these days but here are all sorts of 
clips that I use for um, styling with the photography and to keep my journals open and a microphone and glue sticks, glue gun, stuff, tapes for sending stuff out and um, yeah this is just <laughs> paper bags that I loved. Actually I use this only for my kids when they have a birthday or something I can just quickly take a pile out and they have a nice birthday um, um, tuck that, see? Um, can't find that word either people, sorry. Uh, heat tools and tape thing and little ribbons and um, Haberdashery and um, thread and that kind of stuff. Ah, this is a little library here. A library with all my art books. Lots of art books here and these are all my technique books about all sorts of art techniques. Um, this is just the other side of my inspiration. Uh, drawer, um, not drawer, um, thing, printer, scanner, administration is a mess and then here is a desk with two computers on it currently. Um, there is a new computer that I use for editing but I still use the old computer for um, printing and email and <laughs> I still hadn't time to connect the new computer to the printer and the scanner so I actually use this one for printing, scanning, mailing and I only do the editing on the new computer at the moment but that's of course not really convenient and um, yeah these are not really interesting these are just all office supplies and my cards and ink <laughs> for the printer um, gear for my camera and ooh, these are more well photography stuff and then there is um, my uh, business paper my letters my business letter paper and that's it people and then we have these closets but these are pretty private actually I keep all my drawings and paintings in here Lots of paintings and drawings and personal stuff from school, high school and that kind of stuff. And then I have this other closet is actually from my husband and the kids where we keep photo albums and stuff we want to save and the Christmas bubbles and um, That kind of stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's not really interesting, but it's there. Okay, well, I think I've had it all. That was the little studio tour here. I hope you liked it. It was requested many times. I personally think it's not that interesting, <laughs> but I hope you liked it. It's just my, yeah, I just live here. This is where I work and live and um, where I spend most of my time actually. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. That's it, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you're new to art journaling, go to artjournalschool.com where I have a free online art journal workshop for you in which I share with you my ideas about art journaling and also some fun basic art journal techniques. See you! Bye!